the Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a fan bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. And is telling your story so it gets heard, understood, and remembered sometimes feel like mission impossible? Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR can help. Jerry's here on the Experience Pros Radio Show every week at this time with a tip to help you tell your story. Welcome back, Jerry. What's our storytelling tip this week? Well, thank you. I'm glad to be here. Today's tip is that, you know, anecdotes, analogies, and examples are all very powerful storytelling tools. Absolutely. And I encourage people to use them whenever possible. All right, give us some examples of what you're talking about, because uh, anecdotes... anecdotes uh, analogies and examples. Right. Uh, what's an anecdote? Well, an anecdote is just a little personal story. For example, on the way here today, I had to stop and buy gas, because that little yellow light, you know, that says, you're going to be pushing me yeah. soon. Yeah, <laughs> e, e stands for Eric is an idiot Yeah, in my well, car. That, I don't know about that, but that little yellow light, well, so I stopped to buy gas, and I stopped on those expensive gas stations, so I only wanted to buy $5 worth to get to a real gas station. Right, right. <laughs> Put $5 worth of gas in my car, got back in and finished driving here, the little yellow light was still on. Wow. So, oh, $5 did not go very far. No, it didn't, but that's, a, that's an anecdote. It's a little personal story. What it does is it humanizes your right. story that's also an example and what examples do is they is that they uh, s- they simplify your story sure and they also um, they make your story concrete and they teach us which gas station to avoid yes they do and analogies also uh, simplify your story I loved to lo- to like analogies when I was both a reporter and a speechwriter because in both cases you have very limited amount of time to tell a story and so sometimes you get something that's just so complicated that an analogy really helps you make a complicated point. Can you give us an example? Sure, I can give you an example. For example, if you were to want to compare what the earth and the sun look like, it would be kind of like putting a BB next to a basketball. Or oh, what he just did. Look at and, that. Or you would you might t- say somebody, you know, that's like bringing a knife to a gunfight. That's probably one you've heard. Yeah, absolutely, now. right? Now, when you talk it's like about trying to write your own paper or hiring Jerry Jerry Brown PR, <laughs> how's that for an analogy? There you go. There Keeping you go. It simple. Um, Jerry, when you talk about those anecdotes that humanize your story, you actually talk about going easy on the stories that paint you as the hero. Yeah, it, you know, you, there are two things you want to be careful with 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 anecdotes. One is that if if you make yourself the subject of your anecdote too often, and they're all about how wonderful you are. Mm-hmm. Well, it just comes across as a little arrogant and self-serving, and we've all heard people who are like that, and it gets pretty old it does. pretty quick. The other one is, and I would say the same thing for any humor you use, do not make other people the butt of the story, the anecdote. Sure, you I cannot criticize other people. I mean, there's a, you know, there is an example. I mean, there is a small exception in some of the banter, for example, that the two of you do back and forth. But you're doing it in fun. Yeah, and, and really, at the end of the day, we go home, uh, exactly. and friends. And, exactly. And, yeah. and if you were, do, but if you were doing, if you were saying some of the things that you say sometimes to one another, where you really meant it, and it was designed to have a kind of an ugly edge to it, it could that would also make everybody listening uh, really uncomfortable really quick. And Absolutely. so you just want to avoid that. You know, you talk about examples uh, that, that help make an abstract idea uh, more concrete. Can can we maybe give some con- concrete uh, contact information for you? Because I think our listeners need your services. I think that would be great. My email is jerry at jerrybrownpr.com. And my phone number is 303 594 8016. And by the way, you know, I feel really fortunate to have found a company named Jerry Brown PR since my name is Jerry Brown because yeah. it really makes it easy for me to remember it. Absolutely. <laughs> JerryBrownPR.com, right? That is yeah, very, it's it's yeah. just a perfect company for me. I'm just so glad so I lucky. found it. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is very lucky for you. Now, one quick question before, before we have to wrap up today. When you talk about using anecdotes, analogies, and examples as powerful storytelling tools, can we use all three in one article? Well, absolutely. And in fact, sometimes all three can be wrapped up in a single example because often anecdotes are examples and they often you know fill the role of an analogy too but absolutely I, I use them I would say use them whenever they make sense for your story and 
there are no rules about, well, I used an analogy, so I can't right, I can't right. use an anecdote. Yeah, well, but when in doubt, you know where to go. You know, the late journalist, screenwriter, and screenwriter and Denver native Gene Fowler once said, writing is easy. All you do is sit staring at a blank sheet of paper until drops of blood form on your forehead. Keep your forehead dry and hire Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR. He'll help you write blog posts, social media postings, articles, press releases, PowerPoint presentations, and more. And I also love that he can help edit what you've already written jerry brown at jerrybrownpr.com you can reach jerry at jerry at jerrybrownpr.com or by phone 303-594-8016 that's 303-594-8016 thank you jerry thank you absolutely the experience pros are here to help you get your business right to learn more visit experiencepros.com